Hi everyone, long time no see. Um, I'm really sorry I haven't posted a video in a while. Yet again, I have just become so busy and I'm really sorry, but I'm going to be trying to film a video like every day or at least film a lot this week. Not every day, I don't know, but I need to film a lot to at least when I have something or when I get too busy, I can just post something so you guys are not like, oh well, she's not posting, better push her to the other side. I don't know. But sorry about that. But anyway, um, today I'm going to be doing a current favorites video, kind of fall favorites as well. Um, things that I like specifically for fall and things that I just love or that I've been loving. I bought a lot of stuff in the past couple months and um, looking at my table here, I have a little table set up for where I film. I have a lot of things to share with you guys and I'm really excited that I have a lot of stuff that I've been liking so this is fun and I'm just gonna go ahead and get started so I'm gonna do the non makeup things first just to get them out of the way um, the first thing that I've been really liking for a while now and I got these in a haul video way back in the summer and I've been meaning to do a review on them but I never got around to it so maybe I'll do it after this but I've been loving the Aveeno Positively Radiant Daily Cleansing Pads this is like my third tube jar thing whatever this is called um, and I love this because it's two-sided and it really just makes my skin feel really fresh and nice and I always use this at the end of the night um, I don't use it twice a day I only use it at night and it just gets Excess makeup on my skin makes me feel really fresh and clean, and I really love this, so great product. I've also been really liking the Garnier Nutritionist Moisture Rescue Lightweight UV Lotion. I've been using this as a moisturizer because I ran out of my Clinique moisturizer, um, the Acne Solutions one, which is my favorite because it's very lightweight and it's oil-free and it clears acne. But this actually is really good because my skin starts to get dry around the fall time, and this actually smells really good, has like great grape extract in it, and it's a really good product, so I really like it. I've also been loving Clean and Clear Persa Gel 10, and I had this for a while and I stopped using it for like a really long time and I have no idea why, um, and I have a prescription acne treatment, and I use this with it, and I haven't had acne in like a really long time. My acne was pretty under control but every now and then I would get like a pimple or two but this in combination with my prescription thing because I went to a dermatologist is amazing but if you want a really great this is like what is prescribed by doctors apparently this is a really good product if you suffer from acne so it's really good. I have a conditioner because this conditioner I just had to include it's amazing. This is Garnier Fructis's fortifying conditioner. This is a pure clean one I have absolutely no idea what is in this. Well, I know it's biodegradable and shit, but oh my god, you could get high off this. It smells so good. Like, I cannot even describe it. It's like a berry thing. I don't know. Just go to your local store and smell this and you will like die. And this actually leaves my hair smelling like really fragrant for like a while because I shower at night. So when I wake up, my hair is like I go to sleep with my hair wet and my hair is dry in the morning. But like, I will smell my hair and it still smells amazing so totally recommend that. Um, so I'm going to move on to like face and eyes and makeup now. So first off I love Neutrogena's Ultra Sheer Liquid Daily Sunblock. This is SPF 70 and you're probably like what the hell sunscreen in the fall? It's October it's not summer. I wear sunscreen every day because my skin is very 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 pale and I burn very easily and even in the winter time, even though it's not winter yet, the sun is out and it's more intensified and I run track in the winter so I'm outside all the time. So I just wear this every single day and before I make up and I love this because it's very, it just melts into your skin and it actually, I feel like it kind of smooths my skin out a little bit too. So I really love this and I recommend wearing sunscreen every day because it helps prevent wrinkles. So cool. Start young, stay young. That's my motto. Um, I also love the Revlon Photo Ready powder. As you can see, there is like nothing left of it. But it's a really good powder and it looks really well in pictures. And I wear this sometimes as my foundation. I just put sunscreen primer and this, and that's it. That's what I did a lot last week. So I love this. Um, 
Oh, I missed this non-makeup thing. This is a lifesaver, I swear. This is Almay's Oil-Free Makeup Eraser Sticks. And what these are, these are really cool. I don't know how I missed these in the drugstore. It is a dual-ended Q-tip type thing. And in the middle, it's filled with um, eye makeup remover. And what you do is, with the one with the purple ring around it, you, t like, rip it off and then the eye makeup remover goes to the tip and then you just put this on the lower lash line or anywhere you got uh, excess there's a knit, excess makeup and it takes it off instantly and I like using to dry it up and just use a regular q-tip over it it's a really good product why did I skip a lot of stuff I don't know what I'm doing um I've also been really liking elf products lately I've let I the I could speak. All right, let's see. I've been really liking e.l.f. brushes. These are, I believe, a dollar each. This is the complexion brush, the eyeshadow C brush, which you've seen me use so much, the fan brush, and then this is um, the professional eye defining brush, which is actually a really good brush. You can't even see that. Hold on. Looks like that. It's a really good brush. And I also have, speaking of e.l.f. products, I have their blush, which looks just like the NARS blushes. This was $3, and I have this one in tickled pink, and I'm actually wearing it on my cheeks today. It's really not that noticeable, which I like. It just gives a nice color. And then the e.l.f. cream eyeliner, which I'm also wearing on my upper lash line today. And I have it in black, and it's just a cream eyeliner. I believe that was $3, too. They're all really well-priced, and the brushes are very soft, and these two have pretty good pigmentation um, the eyeliner has really good wear this is not as pigmented as I would like but I do like that it just adds a really nice little like just a really big bug crawling on my window oh my god this just gives a nice little flush and I actually really like it I mean you can't expect much for like three bucks but I do remember elf being horrible when I was like younger and that's why I never bought it but I think they've really changed which is awesome so I think that's it for face. Oh no, I like High Beam. I've been loving High Beam. I've been using this a lot too by Benefit. So that's the, I think that's the last face product. No. Oh my god, I keep on missing this. Okay. My concealer. My Superstay Maybelline 24-hour uh, concealer. I always used to say 24-7 because I think of the Urban Decay pencils, but it's 24-hour concealer. 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 Got it. I really love this and um, I have this, it's about half a shade lighter than me, this is the lightest shade, um, which is very weird because usually I'm just like, lightest shade and that's it, but I like it, I put it under my, and eat, bleh, I cannot speak today, underneath my eyes and it brightens them up, it's a really good product, so I really like it and it does stay on for a while and it doesn't transfer. Alright, so moving on to eyes, um, my favorite primer is Urban Decay's Primer Cushion in Eden, and the reason why I really like this is, be is because it does, um, give very good wear, it makes my eyeshadows very pigmented, and I don't like the invisible one because I have some like veins up here that are visible because I'm so pale, and this kind of almost acts like a little bit of a concealer, and it's yellow, and I've heard people say this is better for medium skin tones, but I digress, I really like it and I'm extremely pale, so yeah. Um, for primers, uh, well like bases I mean, sorry. I really love NYX Jumbo's eye, Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. It's just your basic white, but this is a really amazing product. I really, really, really love it. And it just brightens up my eyes, especially when I put it in my inner corner. It's just an awesome product. And then I really love CoverGirl's Intense Shadow Blast in Forever Pink. And I like this when I'm really tired in the morning and I just need to look really wide awake. And I might have to get a new one because it's starting to dry out a little bit, but it's kind of hard to see. But it's like a, just a nice pink, and it's very just nice. I really like it. I'm going to go on to eyeshadows. The eyeshadow that I used to fill in my brows is Max Eyeshadow and Coquette. You can't see this at all because it got really dirty. But it's kind of like an ashy, grayish, taupey brown. I can't really describe it, but um, I really like it because my brows have kind of like an ashy tint to them, but it just adds some darkness. So that's what I like to use for my brows. And then regarding fall eyeshadow colors, I figured I'd throw that in. My favorite fall eyeshadow color has to be Chopper by Urban Decay. This is just my favorite. It's so pretty. And I use this in a couple of my videos. That is one swatch, like one swipe. And it has like little silver glitters in it that surprisingly, knowing Urban Decay with glitter, they're actually like very finely milled into the um, 
eyeshadows so they don't go everywhere on your eye. And I really love it, so that is a chopper. The MAC eyeshadow that I really like for fall is Woodwinked. And I don't, yeah, you can see it actually, kind of. So it's Woodwinked. I know they're kind of messy. But it's just like a kind of bronzy, brownish shade that has like golds in it. It's very pretty. I have two NYX eyeshadows that I really love for fall. Actually, I have, have like a lot of NYX eyeshadows. Um, one is kind of actually in general. It's not really for fall per se, but you can wear it. But it has a warm undertone into it. And this is, ooh, it fell. Um, looks are eyeshadow. And... I bought this because it was a dupe for Stars and Rockets, and it literally is. It's so pretty. Holy shit. That is just beautiful. I love it. And I actually love mixing these two together, Trapper and this. So, really pretty. And then this one I got because I heard it was a dupe for Amber Lights, and this is Golden by NYX. Very pretty, just warm, basic, goldeny shade. And then a trio that I love that I avoided for a long time for no apparent reason, but I really love this trio by NYX. And this is Shimmer Peach and Copper. And I think I've used this once or twice in my videos. This is a really beautiful, warm, like, shade selection for fall. So I really love this. And then this eyeshadow I use year-round, and I wear it every day, literally. Um, I don't think there's a day that I haven't worn this eyeshadow. And it's, I love it so much it came apart. And this is L'Oreal's Eyeshadow Morning Light. You've seen this in probably a lot of videos. It's coming off. I don't think it's going to really show, but it's, there's a hole in it. Well, you can see the pan. And I just love this. It's, I have it on my inner corner today. It's just a beautiful golden -y white, and it goes with everything, and I love it. I also love the Maybelline Eye Studio palette in, uh, Color Explosion palette. And where is this? Where was it? Oh, Caffeine Rush. I should have known that. Um, I really use this mainly for the luminizer because it's just so gorgeous. It's like a goldeny pressed glitter sheet. And I know I've said that a lot. And you're probably tired of it, but that's what it is. But these colors are actually very pigmented. And I really do like this palette. It's a great neutral palette. So if you were just getting into eyeshadows, this is a pretty good palette to try out. So very pretty. Um, I have two physical palettes that I just have loved for a very long time. Well, one of them I've loved for a very long time, one that I recently got that I'm absolutely loving. First, you can probably guess it, you saw part of it, but it is the Naked Palette. And it's really funny because I've seen a lot of people use the Naked Palette in their videos, but the funny thing is, like, it looks like they haven't used it at all, and they're all like... All of them are like, oh, I love it so much. It's so pretty, blah, blah, blah. Which it is. Like, if you just stare at this, it's gorgeous. But I think I'm, like, one of the only people that have actually reached the pan in every single one of the eyeshadows except two, and they have dents in them. Like, I literally use this every day. Like, I find some use for this every day, and it's just the perfect eyeshadow palette. This will always be my favorite. It's just... I'm probably going to have to end up repurchasing this soon, especially Sin over here. I mean, can you... Ooh. No, you can't see that. Can you see that? It's like a freaking... I could put my actual finger in there and get, like, no product on it because it's all, like, on the side. So, I love this palette so much. And then, my Inglot eyeshadow palette I've been using so much. I just love these colors. They're so unique. I don't own any... Some of these colors, I don't own anything like it. It takes a little bit to pull them off, but... I love that I can use these colors as a crease like this shade this matte shade right here that's all up in my crease today it's just this palette is awesome and I just love this palette so much and I made it I picked out the colors so I feel all exclusive whenever I have it like my palette you know something I do I have no idea <laughs> um, so the last section is mascaras um, eyeliners and then uh, one to two, do two, two. Two, two lip products. I just can't count today. So the two mascaras that I love. One is a Holy Grail product and one is a product I've been loving that I got recently that I really like. The one that I've been loving recently that I really like that I got recently, which is what I just said, is L'Oreal's Voluminous Million Lashes Mascara. I was really hesitant to buy this and I have it in... Where are you? It's probably black, something black. Um, 
and it has the little like wiper thing but it usually gets caught on the top so I mean that kind of defeats the purpose of it but I really like this that's what the brush looks like because it makes my lashes look very voluminous and kind of fans them out and then I always over it when I apply that mascara apply L'Oreal's telescopic carbon black this is my holy grail mascara no matter what it always works it always separates my lashes and adds length because that's what I really need I do need length and it looks like that and you might think, oh, short bristles, it's not going to do much, but this is an amazing mascara. I truly love it to pieces. Eyeliner-wise, I always love my L'Oreal Linear Intense Felt Tip Eyeliner. It just, it's really good for a liquid eyeliner, so I really like it. And you can use, you can use, you can do different types of strokes, so it's a really good eyeliner. And then I have a review on this, and what is on it but I so you guys know how much I like these these are the Maybelline Master Drama eyeliners just always really good have it in bold brown and sapphire strength so really pretty and then um, my I have Nick the next slide on eye pencils which are fantastic to like the third power plus 20 I don't know um I have four of them I think there's 18 but they're so creamy and they're amazing and they're they also work really well as bases too because they're just so creamy and you could just blend them and I have it in jet black glitzy gold golden bronze and jewel I'm gonna just show you live action this is a golden bronze one boom color and it's so pretty I love it they're awesome I love them I really want to like get all of them and they have the most gorgeous shade selection. They're very, very similar to the Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliners. Um, so that saves you a crap load of money, which is really good. I have two, like, different products left, and they're both lips. And the first one is the Blistex Silk and Shine Lip Balm. This is my favorite lip balm ever. It just makes my lips feel very soft and shiny and really moisturizes them. And then finally, I have been loving, for a while now, the CoverGirl Lip Perfection Lipsticks, and I have one, one, I have three. Um, I have uh, 395 Darling, 415 Siren, and the new one I got was 260 Heavenly, and I'm wearing that one today. And I really love these, especially because they are gel based, and if you want, you could use these um, for blush because they're like, would be like a gel blush. And they have excellent pigmentation, very good um, color payoff. They last a while, and if you blot them, I mean, they won't come off your lips for a very long time. So I really do like them a lot. And that is my uh, current favorites. I'm going to say, like, my October favorites, but it's not the end of October, and I'm not doing this monthly. So it's like, this is my fall current favorites. Um, I don't know how often I'll be doing these, especially because um, it depends how much I buy and if there's like a repeat of products, then it's like not worth it. But I threw in some Holy Grail products there and some favorites that I've just been really loving. So that is that. I think that's all. Um, with that, I will see you guys soon. Hopefully I will be able to put up some tutorials this week. And um, yeah, I will see you guys soon. Bye!